I know you'll all have watched some fantastic breakdowns on Ricardo Calafiori. We talked about him on AFTV as well, talking about his FB ref data, positioning, where he'll fit, looking at it from the tactical pad perspective. But I want to know what Football Manager thinks. I know you're all laughing. You're all going, James, Football Manager is a video game. Why on earth would we take it that seriously? Well, because, believe it or not, football clubs do. And I'm going to show you exactly why. Because, according to this website, the ratings are based on a work by a network of over 1,300 researchers who helped construct the database. They provide information based on thousands of players from first team to youth players. And they have 86 full-time researchers with head researchers in Germany, Italy, Spain and England. It's a pretty big team at Football Manager who are collecting all this data on players and football clubs are starting to use it as well apparently, which just shows you there's some merit to it. Now what they do is they give a rating for lots and lots of attributes out of 20. If you're a 10 out of 20, you're not great at it, you're all right. If you're ranking 15 and above out of 20 in something, you're pretty good. So what I want to do in this video is see how Ricardo Calafiori compares to other Arsenal defenders in some really, really key data from Football Manager's research. and seeing how they rated some of his key attributes. Let's just first show you who, though, will be comparing Calafiori to, and it is every Arsenal defender at the club that's expected to play a part in the first team. So Calafiori, White, Timber, Tomiyasu, Saliba, Gabriel, Kivio, and Zinchenko. Of course, this is all with a view to Calafiori eventually signing. Let's hope that does eventually get over the line. So let's show you, firstly, Calafiori's football manager data, because... As you can see, the orange stands out as a key statistic here. So, or not statistic, uh, rating, let's say, um, with anticipation being rated at 17 out of 20. So pretty good there. If you want to hit the pause button, look at all this in good detail, you can. But as you can see, they give you quite a lot, even on FM Touch, which is the game I use. As you can see, 52 million pound transfer value. Clearly, they value him very highly in the game. He's six foot two. He's left footed. They give you lots of stuff from technical, mental and physical uh, attributes that they've pulled together and the positions that he plays slash has played with a rating on how comfortable he is in each one. So it's pretty good. I mean, the amount they cover here. And as you can see on Calafiori, passing, tackling, technique, all very highly rated. Aggression is good. Determination's good. Teamwork's good. Work rate's good. And he's got a bit of pace and strength about him too. All the things that our research has shown us he's pretty good at football manager is telling us he is as well now worth saying that they update the database i think every few months i think the last update might have come after the january transfer window where they do update some of the data califuri being very highly rated as far back as maybe as the furthest this goes back is probably february so there you go important to know that recent events like the euros bologna getting into the champions league playing on a tiago motomore will you know change some of this stuff as well when it comes to ricardo calafiori let's go to the other arsenal players and we'll fly through some of these just to give you an idea of what they're saying about them with Jakub kivior being rated highly for acceleration and jumping reach not a bad passer not bad for marking and other bits and bobs too let's go across to alexander zinchenko Ex excelling in the things you'd expect like technique being very good passing good determination off the ball teamwork work rate all pretty good positioning an 11 out of 20 that sounds about right for Zinchenko let's go across to Durian Timber man I can't wait to see more of this guy in an Arsenal shirt ranked highly for passing technique determination teamwork although dribbling at 10 out of 20 that feels a little bit harsh let's go across to Takira Tomiyasu there you go the multiple position he plays good for tackling as well a little bit low on heading I think that is yeah 12 feels harsh uh, teamwork work rate natural fitness all very good as well as stamina and strength let's go ahead to Gabriel look at him 17 for heading tackling uh, is a 16 aggression bravery teamwork stamina strength jumping reach all great attributes for Gabriel with a 103 million pound transfer value there we go that sounds about right to me Saliba the only thing I'd say here is passing is a little bit harsh um, everything else and again, ranking very highly, 114 million. I don't think I'd even sell him for that. And Ben White, ranking very highly too. Now, before we carry on, I just want to tell you a little bit more about Surfshark. Now, you all have heard of Surfshark. I'm not the first person to tell you about them, but I promise you, I use it. I believe in it. Surfshark is so valuable, I think, at a time where the world is so connected more than ever. And you might be, I mean, let me use me as an example, right? Shows that I'm watching here in the UK 
I want to watch when I go abroad. I want to watch when I'm going away and I'm not able to because it's not available in the country I'm traveling to. And Surfshark allows me to stay connected so that there's no spoilers on the timeline so that whenever all my friends are talking about it, I still feel a part of the community and the discussion as it's happening. And I think that's the big thing about Surfshark. It's that ability to surf the web from wherever you are, from whatever location you want. I think that's the really, really important thing that I take most from it. You can not just have it for when you're traveling abroad, you can use it for when you're literally just here in England where I am and actually I want to open a bigger you know pool of content that isn't available to me this summer of sport there's so much going on and we all know with sport and live events it's happening real time you've got to react to it and watch it as it's happening and again Surfshark will give you the keys to do that everyone there is a 30 day money back guarantee if you just want to give it a go but also you can use the code James B for an extra four months free go and join Surfshark give it a go and open a massive world of content right at your fingertips. Now, I think when you look at this Football Manager data, you can pick out a lot of key attributes that would be important for Arteta and Arsenal defenders, certainly of the last two, three years. Now, those I've written down are passing, anticipation, heading, tackling, aggression, composure, decision-making, determination, positioning, pace, and strength. I'm not going to give you the numbers on all of them. There's a lot, and I've provided them here in the video. If you do want to hit pause on the screenshots to have a look, let me actually, though, take you through the key ones and how the defenders all compare. And those five key ones I've gone for are passing, heading, tackling, composure, and positioning. Let's start with passing. Arsenal's eight defenders and how Calafiori ranks for those compared to other players. Well, he's ranked at a 14, which is level with Ben White. Timber, the best passer, along with Zinchenko at 15 out of 20. Tommy Asu, Saliba, Gabriel can all feel a... I think Saliba in particular can feel quite harshly you know, uh, judged there, only 13 out of 20, but Calafiori ranking at the higher end when it comes to passing in the Arsenal squad. And again, for what we saw at the Euros, seems a very comfortable pass from the ball. I think he'll fit in perfectly. Football manager agrees. Let's go to heading because Calafiori here ranks at 12 out of 20. Now, let me just show you the other Arsenal players first with White at a 15, uh, Saliba, Gabriel, 16, 17. I think Zinchenko 12 is a little bit harsh. Uh, Timber, 13. I've seen enough of him, but that might, you know, get better over the years. I think it probably will do. But where I think the Califuria one in particular is very harsh, where I always say that, yes, we're using Football Manager data here, but it's important to still use your eyes, still look at other data, see the actual numbers. When you look at here on FB Ref, these are the percentile rankings for Califuria's numbers compared to all other defenders, or centre-backs, should I say, in Europe's top five leagues for the last year. And he's ranking very highly for percentage of aerial ones aerials lost and not bad for aerials one as well some other great ones like fouls drawn ball recoveries but i wanted to show you that because while football managers and rating him massively on the heading front at least four or five months ago it wasn't you can see that his numbers show that he's a very very good dual winner in the air so i wouldn't worry about that arsenal fans let's go to the tackling ratings where he ranks as a 14 for tackling Saliba, Gabriel up there, Tommy Asu, White for sure. I think those are all pretty fair. I think they've judged them all correctly. Timber, though, I've got to say, in the computer shield and the hour of football, he did play, looked a superb tackler. Um, and again, I think that number will go up for him. But Calafiori, absolutely fitting in. He he saw at the Euros, right? Really front-footed defender, engaging into players early. Not He's a proactive defender. He wants to engage quickly, get that tackle in. I think he's going to fit in brilliantly on that front. Let's go to composure. I thought this was important. When you're playing out the back... And then you're also playing with a high line and you've got to adopt a tactical plan against the very best like Man City and Liverpool. I think you've got to have composure and believe that you can execute it. I think that is an important thing. And Calafiori ranks highly for composure. Now, Ben White being the most composed along with William Saliba. Yeah, I give that an absolute thumbs up. That is that's right for me. I think when you look at those two, White and Saliba, they absolutely look the least flustered of, of any player. But to be fair, most of them look pretty composed as well. Calafiori seems to fit in with the 14. Again, I think that's going to go higher up the pitch because look how brave he was in possession throughout the whole Euros, driving up the pitch, trying to create attacks and you know disrupt deep blocks for Italy by having a braver on the ball. And you've got to have a composure to do that as well. Position ratings positioning rating should I say Calafiori ranked at a 13 so not one of the better ones there in fact the second worst was Zinchenko at 11 which I think is about right everyone else ranks pretty highly for that Ben White at a 16 again sounds right to me his position his knowledge of when to overlap Saka when to underlap and give us a little bit more in midfield when to tuck into a back three and build up 
everything, whether to stand up to a, a winger, take them on or drop deep and actually you know, give them space to run into and make sure you're just protecting the touchdown. There's a lot of things that Ben White does really well. His positioning is superb. I'm not surprised he ranks highly for that. Calafiore is certainly not ranking badly. So when you look at all those, he's absolutely up there with the Arsenal players we've got. Whether football managers rated them a little bit more harshly for certain things than we'd want... The point is Califiori's numbers stack up and I actually think over the next few years all those numbers will go up for all those players and Califiori being only 22 has immense potential to get even better. Now I just want to show you where Califiori either betters or matches left backs uh, in the squad that includes Tomiyasu, Timber, Zinchenko and Kivio we looked at. He is better or the same when it comes to aggression with a 15 rating, anticipation with a high 17, decisions, flair, balance and strength those are things in particular he might add a little bit more of that the other players in the left back position might not have I think along with that as well it's just the fact that of all the players I've shown you I mean apart from Zinchenko who's also midfielder he's the only real natural left back who's actually played more football at left back than any other position I think Zinchenko maybe has too but he's just always been a midfielder put into that role because when he's playing there he's inverting to get into midfield anyway Calafiori feels like the most comfortable in the area of the pitch of everyone so I think when you take that all into account, he's adding something just from a positional sense, not just a data sense as well. Everyone, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Firstly, did you enjoy this video? I never normally ask, but do you like this kind of thing? Did you find it interesting? Like I said, Football Manager's database is pretty vast. Like, there's real depth to it. And I think it's important to not use it as the main way to judge a player, but at least have a look and get an idea. I'd also love to know your thoughts on the player as well in the comment section below. And if you missed the live stream we did on Thursday, we talked about... Eze, Marino, Setford, Lokonga, Tavares leaving and more. So go check that out if you did miss it. But yeah, we'd love to know all your thoughts in the comment section below. See you on the next one.